America. Put that around this wall. Oh, I'm just giving them to him. Yeah. You got it? The hand? Yeah. No viene con un sueño americano, viene con un sueño de trabajo y honrar mi casa y irme para mi país porque en mi país no tengo casa. ¿Y de cuál país eres? Honduras. Honduras. Y tengo 61 años. Entonces la única esperanza es hacer un poquito de centavos aquí, como me den el papel por un mes, por tres meses, que Dios sea lo que sea y en ese tiempo Dios me tiene, me va a bendecir con un buen trabajo, uno dos, lo que sea, barriendo la calle, lo que sea. Solo quiero trabajar. Estoy aquí y no puedo conseguir un trabajo porque no tengo un ID. Yo creo que es tiempo, como miro ahora que ya nos están ayudando y el gobierno ya se hizo de corazón para todos nosotros. Y yo doy gracias a Dios por eso, porque por eso estoy aquí y me vine a las 8, a las 7 de la noche para amanecer, estar en la puerta porque... Llegué un día antes, ya estaba aquí y dijeron que ya no iban a atender gente. Entonces yo no pude venir por el hielo, el frío, porque yo estoy enferma. Uh, ¿Estás enferma aquí? Ah, uh ah, -uh. uh -uh. pick it up. Pick it up. Put it in the garbage. ¿Estás enferma? Sí, ahora ya ¿Estás enferma medio... aquí esperando en el frío? Sí, te vamos a hacer, tenemos que hacerlo. Yo vine sí. antier cuando estaba lloviendo en hielo y lluvia y toda la calle estaba blanco. Y todos nosotros estábamos blancos. ¿Entonces cuántos días estás esperando? Ya tengo 15 días. 15 días aquí mm. en el frío. ¿Estás primera en línea o eso no cuenta? Pues, pues, primero, esta sí cuenta porque ya estoy en la primera fila. Entonces ojalá este es el día que te pueden ayudar. Que Dios me va a bendecir. Okay. Nos va a bendecir. Eh, ¿Quieres dar su nombre? No. Okay, muchas gracias. We're here with, with the mutual aid, um, giving out hot soup and coffee to migrants waiting in line here uh, at an NYC ID office. Um, we, saw, we saw the news reports that migrants were coming here to get the NYC ID, which, which is something that you know, we've been trying to, to help them out with as well. But um, you know, we're, we're a little bit angry that there's a misconception that you get an NYC ID and immediately you have a work, a federal work permit, which is not how it works. There's benefits to the NYC ID, of course, but, um, you know, with, with the weather being so cold tonight, the city is not even trying to tell the migrants, hey, listen, you might want to wait until it gets warmer to wait for this ID, you know. You're not going to be able to just get a, a job legally tomorrow if you get the ID today. So we're, we're a little worried that there's going to be a rush at, at this office, people waiting overnight to get an appointment and, and people are going to endanger their health. So we're, you know, we're here giving out emergency blankets, uh, hot hands, hot soup, just making sure people have the, the very basics. And that's, and that's what mutual aid is. Do you feel like uh, the city should be doing something more, especially during temperatures like this, to help uh, them not stay out in the cold, or...? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the city has been openly hostile to any attempts to, you know, give migrants shelter, hot food. I mean, th there's been multiple, um, you know, police harassment of mutual aid just this week at St. Bridget's, at Floyd Bennett Field, at, uh, at some other downtown locations. Um, you know, they because it's code, code blue, you know, they are... Letting uh, people, you know, 
go inside just to get out of the cold, you know. But they really should be housing people or at least, you know, having a system where they don't have to wait outside for basic services. Uh, do you feel like the curfew is helping or hurting right now? Yeah, the, the, the curfew is totally unnecessary. I mean, uh, we, we, we saw, you know, a lot of... A lot of Homeless people do work nights, believe it or not. And what happens is if, if there's another, you know, more bureaucracy where there's an excuse to kick people out of a shelter, you'll have people coming in in the morning after a night at work and, you know, they might, be, they might be accused of breaking the curfew and kicked out of the shelter or, you know, we saw this uh, last year, you know, people would come in from night shifts and they would try to get to sleep when the sun's coming up, but then they're not allowed to sleep during the day, so that you know guards would wake them out and I'll wake them up, and you know there, there would be arguments. And it's just it's, the curfews aren't really doing anything, but but hurting everybody. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think one one misconception a lot of people say about mutual aid is, well, you know, what about homeless veterans? What about homeless, you know, uh, Americans and you know, we, we help everybody that's in need. So if, if you know a homeless, homeless veteran, you know, we'll, we'll help them too. We'll help out everybody. Because this is all about, you know, surviving what's coming together. So that's mutual aid.